Hello children. Today we will learn about tens house and ones house. We will understand that grouping of objects make one ten. We will learn place value in a fun way with tens house and ones house and we will be able to connect numbers with their quantity. Children, in the last class, we had learned how to make one ten. Come, let us quickly revise it. We learned that nine ones and one more makes number ten. That is one ten. Let us count these flowers. So, this is one flower. One more is coming makes number 2. Children, say along with Archana ma'am. One more is coming. It makes number 3. One more. 4. One more. 5. One more. 6. One more. 7. One more, eight. One more, nine. So these are nine flowers. And this is the sign for and. And one more flower is coming. So we have nine flowers and one more flower. We can also say Nine ones because these flowers are all single. They are all separate ones. Nine ones and one more is this is the sign for is. Quickly, one more time. Nine ones and one more is number Ten or one ten. Let us make it one ten. And here is a string. And we will quickly get all the ten flowers. All the ten flowers and put them on a string. So what did we do? We grouped them together. We joined them together to make one so when we have nine objects and one more is joined with them and we make a group when we join we group them together and that is called one ten look at these blocks quickly count with ma'am one one more two one more three one more four, one more five, one more six, one more seven, one more eight, one more nine. So when nine and one more joins together, it makes a group of one ten. So you have to join. And how many objects should be there to make one ten? Kitna hona chahiye? Yes, there should be 10 things. So 10 objects, 10 things to make one 10. Very good children. Let us listen to a story. Far away in the number land, there live lots of numbers. And they love to play all day long. But oh look, it started to rain and they wanted to hide and get some shelter. So they saw two big houses and there were some letters written on them. One house had letter T written on it and 
It was the tens house. T T tens house. There was another house with letter O written on it. O O ones house. So there were two houses. T T tens house and O O ones house. And all the numbers they saw that tens house was locked. So they said, "Oh, we must hurry and run into the ones house. Tens house is locked. Come, let us hide in ones house." So all of them went into ones house one by one. So the first number went. One more came. It came two. One more came. Three. One more came into one's house and became number four. One more number came. Five. One more. Six. One more. Seven. And where will number eight go? Will it go in tens house? Can it go in tens house? No. There is a big lock there. So, one more number eight will also come here in one's house, and one more is coming, number nine. So now the house of one's one's house is all packed. One more number says, even I want to come inside, but all the other numbers said, no, there is no space. You cannot come into this house. Oh look, the lock opens, and this number goes to Ten's house. Ten's house is so big. He was so happy to be there. But after some time, he got bored. And then there popped up an idea in his mind, and he decided to throw a party and invite all his friends from one's house to his ten's house. And then all his friends came one by one for the party. To Ten's house, so there came the first number. One more number came, number two. One more number came, number three. One more, four. One more, five. One more, six. One more, seven. One more, eight. One more, nine. And this number was already there, so it became number ten. So children, there are ten numbers or ten people in tens house. That makes it one ten. So there is one ten in tens house, and how many can you see in ones house? Can you find anybody there? No. Oh, that means zero ones. There is nobody in ones house. No more. No extra in ones house. That makes it zero ones is 
number 10. Let us say again 110 and 0 ones is number 10. Very good children. Let us do one more activity with points and a note. So, I am using 1 rupee coins and a 10 rupee note. So, I will keep placing coins one by one in one's house. And look very carefully that when I place my coins in one's house, I am also writing the number simultaneously in the other one's house. Okay? So, here there are two tens house and two ones house. So, let's start. Count with Archana ma'am. One. And look, I have written number one in one's house. One more. Two. One more. Three. Why am I not writing in tens house? Because tens house will only have the group of one ten. And this is number three. It is not group of one ten. So it cannot be written in the tens house. One more is coming. Four. One more. 5 1 more 6 1 more 7 1 more 8 1 more 9 1 more 10 oh 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 10 that means 1 10 and 1 10 cannot live in one's house where will it go? Yes, it must shift to ten's house because this is one ten and one ten lives in ten's house. So, I have replaced my ten coins with my ten rupee note. Both of them are equal. Ten coins or ten rupee note Dono same hai. 10 or 10. Both of them are same. 10, 1 rupee coin. 10, note. Okay, 1, 10 ka note. Both of them are same. So, I have replaced. Ma'am ne apne coins hata kar note rakh diya. It means the same. Now, how do I write number 10? Look. There is one ten rupee note in tens house. That means one ten. So I write one ten in tens house. And there is nothing in one's house. That means zero. Zero in one's house. So this is how I write number ten. Okay. I write number ten in separate Houses, one ten in tens house and zero ones in ones house. Now your activity time. What you require is ten one rupee coins and one ten rupee note. And you need paper to make tens and ones house. You will make two sets of tens and ones house. One to keep the coins and the other one on which you will write the numbers. So, you will place ten coins, the one rupee coin I showed you just now, one by one on one set of the house and on the other set you will keep writing the numbers as you count them. Then, you will move all the ten coins to tens house because they have become a group of one ten and 
observe how the one's house has become empty there are no extras then replace the coins with 10 rupee note and remember that 10 coins and 10 rupee note are equal now very very important thing my dear parents because the child is using the coins and a note it is a request that please disinfect the coins and the note before you hand it over to the child kindly you can wash the note dry it properly disinfect it and then give it to the child or else you can place after washing and disinfecting mamma or papa can place the coins one by one and the child can write the numbers simultaneously do this activity and enjoy your tens and ones house and remember to share your photos or videos with archana ma'am till then happy counting